Hello, it's Dave here from Beggar Points Controllers. I'd like to introduce you to the new version of the multi-panel. This is the been the current panel for 2017, and this is the new one, the version 2.1. The 2.1 has a number of notable new features. First of all, it's completely plug and play. So you'll notice it, the difference here. The connectors are fully wired up. There's no common earths or anything else. So you simply plug in a pre-made cable and your LEDs are hooked up. The same with the bottom row for the buttons or switches. Plug in a cable and it's hooked up. Absolutely no soldering. The second thing we've done is we've combined the features from the LED expansion boards that used to connect here. So if you wanted two LEDs on a channel, instead of having to put an expansion board in to get that second channel, it's also built right in. So each of these channels drives a pair of LEDs straight out of the box. To beef up the um, display of so many LEDs up to 600 when this board's fully loaded, we've also beefed up the power supply here so it can handle that amount of uh, power being put through the system. Another notable change on the version 2.1 is this connector here for the feedback bus. If you plug in an LED expansion board here, it will display feedback for 192 channels. So if you've connected our block detector or the point position indicator to the feedback module, that will then send the feedback information back into this uh, board via the usual network connector. So everything works through the same cable, but now not only can we control the 192 devices on this board with expansion, we can also display up to 192 feedback channels, whether they're indicating block occupancy or whatever else you might have connected to your detector. To complement the 2.1 multi-panel processor, we've also updated the design of the expansion boards. Here's an LED expansion board that would connect to one of the LED connectors here. And this too supports two LEDs per output. So again, it is fully plug and play and ready to go. And the same is also true for the buttons. So you can expand the button boards and all you have to do is plug them in and you can expand away up to the 192 channels. So the whole ecosystem now means you can wire up a mimic panel without touching a soldering iron using pre-made cables if you desire. I've stuck with the DuPont connectors, the servo type connector, because if you wish to roll your own cables or make your own or crimp them, then this is well within the skill set of the average modeler to do this. So it's accessible connectors. But if you just want to buy something out of the box, plug it in and have it go, this is the right product for you. The buttons now come on these uh, little pre-made biscuits with the connectors already attached. So I'll show you how these work. What you do, you snap one off as you need it. Take these two apart. And here you have a panel button ready to be installed. Take the included cable that comes with the button. That would be this. Plug it into one end. Doesn't matter which way round and connect the other end with the black cable to the outer edge of the board in to button number one. So this button is now connected to the multi-panel. The same is true for the LEDs. Take one of the pre-made cables. It has the plug already attached and a pair of LEDs, so the complement is built in. That means when one is on, the other is off. Plug the cable in with the black towards the outer edge and there's my LEDs wired up. What I'll do now is I'll go and connect some power to the power terminal and you can see it work. So I've plugged in a power cable here and I'm just going to apply some power to the board now. And as soon as it gets power, you'll see that the master light is on and the run light is flashing. So the board is powered up. And you can see the LEDs here. Here's the pair connected to channel one and the button is connected to channel one. So if I push this button, there's the LEDs flashing and the opposite one is on to indicate that I'm 
changing direction on my points. Press it again and it's gone back. So wiring up really is a plug and play affair. I hope that gives you a brief idea of how simple it is to hook up a multi-panel version 2.1. It's available with or without the optional cable packs and the switch packs. Thanks for watching.